In vivo gene therapy is based on the introduction of a therapeutic gene into a vector which is then administered directly to the patient. This vector will transfer the gene of interest in the target tissue to produce the therapeutic protein. Ex vivo gene therapy is based on the transfer of the vector carrying the therapeutic gene into cultured cells from the patient. Subsequently, these genetically engineered cells are reintroduced to the patient where they now express the therapeutic protein. They are common features as they both derive from retroviruses. The two have a similar structure based on an RNA genome. When a retroviral or lentivirus vector infects a target cell, the RNA genome containing the therapeutic gene is retrotranscribed to a double-stranded DNA in the cytoplasm through the action of reverse transcriptase enzyme carried by the vector. Once retrotranscribed, the DNA with the therapeutic gene enters the nucleus where it integrates into the host cell genome. When integrated into the genome, cells arising from the infected cell will also contain the therapeutic gene, allowing for stable and long-term expression. The main difference between retroviral and lentivirus vectors is that in the first case, the vector requires the host cell to be in the division process to be able to infect it. However, the lentivirus vectors can infect both dividing cells and those that do not divide. Consequently, the use of retroviral vectors is limited to ex vivo gene therapy approaches, whereas lentiviral vectors can be used both in ex vivo and in vivo gene therapy.